Hey y'all, it's uh, officially 100, 100 degrees in Fern Creek, Kentucky. Hope y'all can see that. But uh, I wanted to see how these test holes functioned under a heavy load and, you know, recheck my charge and everything. So, uh, didn't really have anything to do today. Uh, I have diabetes and I had to go get my eyes checked and they uh, mapped my eyes to make sure I was okay. And uh, everything's fine. And, uh, but I'm officially old now. Uh, I have to wear bifocals. So, oh well. Okay, well let's, uh, let's get after this and see how she's doing today. Hey y'all. Um, I'm pretty much dead on. I mean, this unit requires uh, 10 degree subcooling. And as you can see over here on my other side here on my superheat, um, it's roughly about 10 degrees higher than my subcooling. And that's basically probably pretty much where you want to be, pretty close. But, you know, I would really like to get it perfect. Uh, pressures are back up again on my suction line like they're supposed to. You know, that TXV is reacting the way it's supposed to. And, uh, Being, it's so hot out here today, you know, hell, it's like a 100 degrees, and uh, what I figured I might do, I mean, this is my personal unit, so I figured I could play with it a little bit. I might juice it up a little bit and see what it looks like, uh, uh, see what uh, what it looks like with maybe a half a pound more or so in it. I'm going to try to get that uh, sub cooling up to around 11 or 12, you know, 11 half to 12. You know, it's got a you know heavy load on her today, so let's just take a peek. Hey y'all, uh, I just uh, put in about, uh, I don't know, maybe half a pound. She's at 12.9. Uh, I've got 21.1 uh, degrees sub cooling, down to 20. And you'll notice she jumped up to 13.7, but she'll jump back down to 12. It's just that, uh, it's that TXV throttling. I'm um, liking my pressures a lot better, that 70, 70.9 suction line pressure that is 62 on uh, T1 which is the suction line temperature 99.1 on T2 that's going to fluctuate also with that TXV moving around my evaporator temperature is 41 41 degrees Fahrenheit maybe 42 uh, condenser temperature is uh, about 111 should be about 1, 112, you know. It's going to fluctuate too because of that TXV. That's my only concern right there is that Delta T, uh, 36.9. What we're going to do is I, I think I might uh, hit on down to the basement and do like a, uh, uh, I'll uh, do some uh, measurements off of my, my coil and off of my return. See what kind of uh, drop I got. I'd like to be within 20. Let's, uh, Let's let this thing run for a little while, like I said. There's, there it is again, you know, 12.3. You know, like I said, I'm allowed a variance of, uh, of 3, plus 3, or minus 3. And this requires 10 degree subcooling. So, everything should be cool. Um, I'd rather be on the higher side of this on a hot day than be like at 9.8 degrees subcooling. You know what I'm saying? Or 8.8. .8. Um, I can always adjust this, you know. <laughs> it's right out the back door, if you know what I mean. But anyway, okay, well, let me run down there and take a peek at that. Hey, y'all, it's going to give me a temperature reading here at uh, one of my grills. Um, you know, our, everybody likes to see 55, but that's usually probably on an 85, 90 degree day, not a 100 and something degree day. I think 56.7 is a, a pretty reasonable temperature. Okay, well, I'm going to head on downstairs here and uh, do my temperature drop, see what we got. Hey y'all, I'm back down here to the basement and I guess we're going to do a, uh, a temperature drop. Uh, we're going to get our temperature drop from our return air drop, which is right there. Yeah, and here's our supply. A lot of people think that uh, it should be around 20, 20 or so. Uh, degree drop in this so uh, that's what we're gonna shoot for okay and I'm sure I'm gonna hear that I should be uh, 
17 inches from here and uh, 16 inches from there, 0.7, but you know, you can all just keep that to yourselves. Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. We got uh, 50, 52.5, can y'all see that? 52.5. So what you do is you come right over here, that's the supply side, and you write down 52.5, okay? Check out my new rud pads, I got a, a truckload of them. I'm a proud new rud, rud dealer now here in town, so. Okay, now let's uh, come over here to your return drop. And she looks like she's 70 degrees there, fellas. 70.1, 70, let's just call her 70, okay? Now let's come back over here to the pad. And right now, 70. Y'all gotta excuse me, I had my eyes dilated today and I can't see shit. But anyway, hold on now. All right. So what we're going to do is the Fern Creek method, this is how I learned math in high school. Uh, you take this 70 and you minus it by 52.5, okay? Now we got 17.5 there. Uh, heck, back in high school we rounded up, 17.5 is 18, that magic number we were talking about was 20. Uh, I'm not going to get out there goofing around trying to trying to get .27, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it ain't gonna happen. Uh, I think we're dialed in, people. So, uh, that's basically how you do it. So, let me uh, run back outside and uh, take another look gander at her out there, and uh, uh, I reckon we'll see you out back. Come here. Talk. Say hey. Tell everybody you're a good boy. That's my best friend. Kitty cats, kitties, kitty cats are coming. <laughs> oh my anyway, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're at 99.6 in the shade here, 99.7. Well, might as well call her 100. Let's just call it hotter than hell. <laughs> but anyway, all right, man, I'm loving to see this here. We're at uh, 20, let's say 21 on the superheat. 12.4 on the subcooling, which I told y'all I needed uh, 10, but I'd rather be on the high side of it on a day like today. Uh, we're at 71.4, I like that pressure. 232 on the liquid side, I like that pressure. Uh, 62 on the suction. 99 degrees, almost 100. Well, 99 degrees on the liquid line temperature. And let's see. Evaporator temperature is 41.7. Might as well say 42. And uh, condenser temperature is 110. So I think we're doing pretty damn good here. Let's see. Delta T is 36.4. A lot of people call that Delta T is what we did downstairs earlier. That uh, where we were uh, checking the pressure drop, um, but anyway, I think we're pretty good. This was just for my peace of mind. Wanted to play with my new toy again, so I can dial her in when it's time to go see my people, my customers. You know, I'll uh, be able to use this instrument in the proper way. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope y'all got a little enjoyment out of it. Reckon I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.